In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an IR beam sensor, hook it up to an Arduino to control an LED when the beam between the sensor is broken. A really cool sensor that you can get for just a couple of dollars is this IR beam sensor. And you get it from a site like Adafruit. And what you'll get is you'll get two sides of it. One side is the transmitter. And the transmitter is gonna have two wires. One of the, the red wire is for your power. The black wire is for ground. The other is your receiver. Your red is for power. Your black is for ground. And the other signal, and, and the one I'm holding is white. And the one that I have mounted right here is yellow. And that's your signal. Now, th these are two slightly different models. If you look really closely, what you'll see is there's an LED type element on the end of this, and that's what's actually receiving or transmitting the IR beam. And this one is three millimeter bulb. The one that's down here is a five millimeter bulb, but electrically they work exactly the same. Now, the way I have this set up is to the schematic that's on the screen. It's modified from the Adafruit schematic. I've just modified what they're doing with this LED right here because I wanted to change the behavior of it. But essentially you have two, uh, the transmitter just has a power and a ground. The receiver has power ground, uh, which is right here. And your signal, the signal is then split off into an LED. When I turn the power on, the LED should be on until, and there it is, the LED is on until the beam right here is broken. When the beam is broken, the LED is going to turn off. When it's unbroken and the receiver is receiving something, it turns back on. So it's a good way to have a non-contact sensor. If something trips the beam, you'll be able to record that. Now, right now, this is working without an Arduino. I want to incorporate an Arduino into this. So I just need to modify this uh, setup very simply. So I'm going to, you can see how I've changed it from the schematic on the screen, but what I want to do is I want to first put the Arduino into ground. Let me zoom in. There's two things I want to change. I want to change what's happening I want the Arduino to I want the Arduino to control the LED. So this is going to go to the Arduino. And I don't know what program's on the Arduino right now, so it might go on. Yes. But just ignore that. And I want the signal to come into the Arduino. So right here, I'm going to plug the signal into Arduino pin four. And that is in uh, Arduino pin five. So now I've modified this so that the IR sensor is coming into the Arduino and then the Arduino on pin 13 is going to control this LED. So let's write some code to do that. All right, so let's write some Arduino code. Let's go in my setup. We'll say that serial.begin is equal to 9600. So before I can control the LED, I need to figure out what's actually going on with my output. Uh, then I need to do pin mode five is going to be an input underscore pull up. And I can say pin mode 13, which is my LED, is going to be an output. Now in my loop, I want to, before I control the LED, just figure out what values I'm getting. So I need to get the value of the digital read. So int val is going to be equal to digital read four. Okay, and then I'm going to do serial.print. I'm going to say the value of pin, uh, pin five. The value of pin five is in serial.print line, I'm going to print out the value. Then I'm just right now gonna delay for 100 milliseconds and this will loop. So if I upload this, Serial dot print line. Oops, forget a semicolon. So now it's done uploading. Let's open the serial port, and you can see that the value of pin five is one, 
if I come here and I break the beam, I get the value of pin five is zero. When I release the beam, the value of pin five is one. So now I can write my simple logic. I can say if val, write it in C++ terms, if val is equal to zero, that means my beam is broken. I can say digital write 13 high. Else, digital write 13 low. So this is going to read the sensor. If it's broken, uh, no, I want to switch that. If it's broken, I want my light to go off. Otherwise, I want my light to be high. That's the way I had it before. So let's upload this. And it should start with my light on. And let's just confirm with my serial monitor. So the value of pin five is one. As I go through my, I break the beam, the value of pin five is zero. I release the beam, the value of pin five is one. So this is how you're able to use an IR sensor and configure it into our Arduino. It's very, very easy.